Look at all them aphids on there. Gross. So nasty. This video has got me really excited. I want to show you guys how to control aphids without spending a single penny or using any poisonous chemicals. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll remember I don't use any artificial pesticides in my garden, not even the stuff listed organic. I'm a firm believer that every problem we have in our garden is our fault. Whether you're talking about pests, bad soil, it's nature's way of punishing us for doing something she doesn't like. To say that 2023 has been a tough year for gardening, especially in the Midwest, is an understatement. We had the late frosts. We haven't had rain for eight weeks. It's 90 degree heat. When you don't have rain and you have a lot of heat, creatures start looking for water. You know where they're going to find it? Inside your plants. Aphids, slugs, the lily beetle problem we're having, asparagus beetles, they are all thirsty. Since I do not use any chemicals or pesticides in my garden, I like to come out here, kind of see what nature does to take care of the problem for herself. And through my observations, I realized that controlling aphids is so simple. We put way too much thought into it. I've stepped outside the garden to show you guys this because I think it's so cool. So aphids kill our plants because they are foreign invaders. They are not natural to the area that you're planting them most of the time. Outside the garden, I'm over here by some weeds. Look at this. This thistle growing here. Could have pulled it out, but I didn't. Look at that. That is disgusting. The aphids are just completely coating this plant. This dock right here, the aphids are starting to move in there. You know why that's good to see? Because if the aphids are on those plants, they're leaving my plants alone. Here's some tomatoes, maybe about 25 feet away from those coated thistles and dock. I don't have any aphids on here. I might be able to find like one or two on here, but you know how you take care of them? Go like this. No more aphids. Oh, there's one aphid. Gone. When you don't have very many aphids on your plants, just using your finger, a leaf, a little paintbrush or something, they die instantly when you touch them. Those other plants over there, those native plants with all the aphids on there, if you didn't see the aphids, you wouldn't know that something was wrong with the plant because nothing is. They're thriving despite the aphids. Now, on the other hand, if I get aphids on my tomatoes or other plants, they're probably not going to do too good. And I've even seen a lot of people have lost plants already to aphids. I've seen pictures of tomatoes just coated and coated with aphids. If you want to stop aphids, cut back on your weeding. I know you want a beautiful garden with no weeds in it, but take a look at how nature grows her stuff. It's not exactly organized. A weed-free garden doesn't look that great if all your plants are dead. So if you want to control your aphids, you're going to stop them with a free and natural trap crop. So when you see the docks coming up and the thistles, consider letting some of these plants grow. There's the garden over there. Here's some docks behind my house. Look at this nasty guy. This stem is coated black with aphids. That's a lot of aphids right there. That could be my tomatoes right now. If I chop this down, these aphids need a place to go. This is a natural trap crop, guys. I know there's so much hatred for these deep-rooted weeds, but there's so many ways to use these. You could even plant these if you wanted to. You can go to the woods, get some seeds out of these things, and just put them somewhere around your property, away from your garden, and it's going to bring all the aphids away. You might be thinking, I got all these aphids on here. Why don't I just go through here and just massacre these aphids? So the thought has crossed my mind. I just do have a concern that if I go massacre these aphids, I don't know if they're going to release some chemical or something to warn the other aphids that it's dangerous over here. So as long as they stay over here, I'm okay with it. And at some point, with all these aphids here, 
something else natural is going to come and take control of it. Nature will find a way to balance out this problem if we leave it alone. So this is how you guys are going to beat aphids this year. I want you to stop pulling your weeds, let some of them grow, and see what weeds the aphids attack. And you want to leave those for now. It's not just the thistles and the docks. There's plenty of other weeds the aphids also like. Just remember, the aphids were eating something before your tomatoes went into the ground. Using weeds as a trap crop and moving your finger like this. No more aphids. We need to stop pretending that we can grow plants better than nature. It's better to look around, see what nature's doing, and try to work with her and not against her. Thanks for watching.